If you're going to be publishing websites, you need a tool to be able to upload your files, such as FileZilla, and I'm going to show you how to install that. The first thing you should do is get to the official FileZilla project site. If I Google it, if you notice, for me it comes up at the top, FileZilla project org, right? But if I scroll down, there are all kinds of other places where you could possibly download FileZilla. I would recommend sticking with the official project site. So I'm going to go there, and the URL for that is filezilla-project.org. Now FileZilla is free, and it just takes a few steps to install. I'm going to be demonstrating this for Windows. So when you get to this page, you'll see a couple of possible links. There is the download FileZilla client, and also download FileZilla server. What you'll want to do if you are transferring files, let's say you created a website and you want to put it up on a server, you will want to download the FileZilla client. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Since I'm working on Windows, I will be downloading the Windows client. I'm going to be downloading a free version of FileZilla, which is just this basic first one. I'm not working with Pro, and I personally don't need the manual. If you'd like a manual, you can go with that as well. I'm going to go ahead and click on Download. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I don't need the manual. While it's downloading, I want to mention, it says this installer may include bundled offers. Check below for more options. So when we install it, you want to be careful that you only really install the FileZilla client that you want. Otherwise, you'll end up with other software that you, you may not have wanted. So once it's downloaded, I'm going to go up here and go to this download executable. And here is the license agreement. I'm going to go ahead and agree to it. And this is where it starts asking for me to install other things that I may not want. So notice it says optional offer, and things on your installer may look different. So just be aware that there may be things that you don't necessarily want. So I am going to decline downloading Norton Browser, right? I'm going to decline that. And then I can choose, do I want this installed only for me as a user or all users? And I'm going to go ahead with anyone who uses this computer. For this section, I'm going to go ahead and go with the all the components that it's actually giving me. I don't necessarily need a desktop icon. And then I can choose where I'd like it to install. I'm just going to let it go to its default spot on the C drive. And I can also choose a start menu folder. I'm just once again going to let it do its own thing and install. Notice it was very quick. It's actually installed, and I can go ahead and say Start FileZilla now. So FileZilla opened up with this box. I'm going to go ahead and say OK. So here it is. In another video, I'll show you how you can use FileZilla to transfer your files. But a quick tour of it is up top here. You can do um, kind of a quick connect. You can type in your host, username, password, and connect to your server. This left side is your local drive. So notice it shows my hard drives and it shows the files within them. So I would navigate to my file that I want to transfer. And over here would be the remote side. Right now I'm not connected to any server, so it's not showing anything. But in the next video, I will show you how you can um, connect up and transfer your files.